All right, cut the freaking music. Cut the freaking music. Hello, folks. And welcome to another uneventful episode here of this underground podcast that should have died many years ago. Well, not much content for the channel. Um, I'm feeling better as far as, you know, I was really sick last week. It's just too fucking cold. You know, they do research, guys, and they say that the month you're born in is usually the month of weather you prefer, and it's so true. I was born um, end of July, okay? Really hot weather. I love really warm weather. Not super hot where your skin's peeling off, your balls are stuck to your ass, but I love fucking nice fucking warm weather and it's been so fucking cold it's been raining it rained and snows the good news is it melts quick but as far as going out the old city all that stuff i don't miss it at all fuck that shit all the blogs look the same anyways i've done so many live streams there you guys seen it go back and watch the old ones they're all the same it's all crap nothing happens fuck that last night i went out for the first time for a week and a half i went to my local motel six bar there was only like three people there I didn't see anybody I really knew, except for this female comedian chick who doesn't talk to me, which I don't care about. And I just hung out and talked to the bartender, you know, how you been? And uh, I have not done anything aside from uh, my open mic that was last Monday. And speaking of that, this coming Monday, another open mic, which I'm excited about. The good news is it's not going to snow or rain, but it's going to be fucking cold as shit at night. It's going to be like 19 degrees. It is too fucking cold to go out and do anything. Fuck that shit. As far as content for the channel... Wanted to do a prank call show this week. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Didn't have any ideas. Thus, I forced myself to call the same places over and over, which I hate to do. But nonetheless, guys, we have five clips to get to for the public freakout commentary. This first one, as I said before, I only think violence against women is funny if justified. Now, I don't know what who started this and if she's right or who's wrong. But this woman is walking towards this guy and he takes out a big 4x4 four four, like he's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And you gotta hear the noise her head makes on this thing. You might say, this is terrible. Why is this funny? Once again, I don't know who's right or who's wrong, but let's play it. <laughs> Try not to laugh compilation. Let's go back and play this uninterrupted. <laughs> Sorry, you killed Tynesha, you bastards! Wow, let's play another job. I'm sorry, just the noise was perfect against that fat head of hers. And of course, this guy probably got arrested for attempted murder. Well, guys, uh, let's get to the next clip. This is interesting. This is a skateboarding kid. He's going to have a future. He's either going to be the next YouTuber or TikToker, or he's going to be in jail. He uh, he has a funny thing. He has a big donut holding from a stick, and he puts it in these cops' faces. And at first, they're laughing, but then one of the guys gets mad, and then the other ones have to jump in on it and go, yeah, yeah, we're supposed to be mad. And I think they arrest him. This is perfect. 54 seconds. So notice they're laughing. This guy right here is laughing. He's okay with it. He's he's not pissed off by it, but this fucking fat fuck right here, he gets offended by it. And then as soon as he gets offended by it, notice they changed their tune. These two fucking douchebags. I had like 10 donuts before I came over here. Tell you what, man. A dog ate that first. Hey, any of you boo Get that fucking shit away from my face, Robo. Hey, come on. Whoa, this guy's tough. Picking on a skateboarding kid. But watch, notice that they changed their tune. As soon as this guy got offended, watch. Watch watch how fucking two-faced they are. Get the fuck away from me. What the? Look, now he pushes up this Peter Jennings looking guy. That's fair. Hey, you got that? You got that? You got that? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me get all those badge numbers. Badge numbers names. Badge numbers names. Thank you, sir. Hey, don't touch me. I'm the intern. What am I getting arrested for? I think it's time for you to go. Whoa! What's he getting arrested for? What's he getting arrested for? Keep in the peace. Back off! Back off! Please don't touch me. He assaulted a lieutenant. You back off or you'll go to jail. He assaulted a lieutenant. All he did was get in the guy's face and hold a little innocent prank in front of him. The guy didn't like it, sure. You have every right to tell the kid to move back, but he didn't touch him. And he didn't get in the guy's face. And then he changed his tune because, oh, I gotta press my lieutenant boss. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy. 
And it, he just I recorded the whole thing. Where did he touch him? Where did he touch him? There you go. This next one is a bunch of joggers uh, stealing a bunch of stuff in a uh, beauty store. And uh, this guy, this white guy records, I'm pretty sure after this, they kicked his ass. But um, he kept saying, those people, well, what do you mean by that? This is what happens in California. This is what happens in California right here. Right here, these people. These people. What you mean, these people, motherfucker? I'm about to whip your ass and steal your phone, bitch. These people. Leave the ship behind. Oh, she pushed them. She didn't like being recorded. First of all, all these people look the same, if you know what I mean. How can you ever find them? <laughs> they just, they're, just, they're just emptied out the whole store. They're not going for, like, f you know, just portions. They're taking everything. <laughs> First of all, that's the weakest security I've ever seen in my life. Like, why not lock them in the store? If that's a situation like that, I would just say, I'm locking you in the store. I'm calling the police. You're going to go to jail. That's what you do. You sit there and just go, oh, I was going to let them go. And we're going to sit there and try to get their license plate number. No, lock them in the store. Well, this next one is, God oh, this is Smooth Sanchez. Now, this is old, our buddy Smooth Sanchez, who did do this podcast. Another reason why he's such a... Uh, just a good kid. The FBI got him because some troll reported him. Um, such a funny clip. He would do this thing called incel rage. He would hit on girls in New York City. And when they would reject him, he would go off on them. And this is so funny, man. I mean, this guy brought so much joy. I used to watch his kid's streams. I would say like a kid, young man. Watch his streams almost every morning. I even donated to him many times. Not to brag about it or, you know, say I deserve something. I don't, but because I love his content so much and I miss him. I, we all miss him. Thousands of people miss this guy. There's not another person like him that would create content like this. Now, this is morally wrong, of course, him cursing that woman on the street. I'm not saying this is a nice thing to do to women. But for content purposes only, just give me an example of just... And they're going to say, well, you defended this kid. He's a piece of shit. I know. He did a lot of shitty things. But I'm just saying, for content purposes, so funny. I mean, just balls to the wall. Here it is. Each thoughts. Hey, I have a question. You think I can get your number? No, thank you. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I've seen guys do this before in Philly, like, not even recorded. Like, as soon as they get rejected, they go, Bitch, you fucking ugly as shit. Kindly go fuck yourself. Please, just die. Like, just please, just die yeah. and just put a gun in your head and just blow your brains out. Please, just die. I have so much hatred towards you women already. <laughs> I can't stand you. rejected me all my fucking life. All my life. All my life. All right, and we got one more. This is a very weird clip. This has got to be New York City, and of course it is. I think it is. This is some sort of, I don't know if she's meffed out. I don't know if she's acted. Some woman has some guy on a leash, and look at that. She looks like a werewolf or something. I don't know what's going on. I hate to say this. She looks kind of weird. She looks like kind of like a, a Bon Jovi and a werewolf combined, but she's thick. <laughs> now when the black people don't say anything that's how you know you got them shocked usually they always say something like what the fuck you got them shocked you know something's going on and uh folks that's it for the public freakout commentary this is the first but yet worst comedy podcast in philly it's your favorite podcast that most people would not listen to or watch and after this segment you know what we're going to end with we're going to get to the Odd news. <laughs> All right, let's get to the odd news. And uh, as far as what the channel is next week, if there's anything going on in the channel, can't promise anything. But the following Monday, you guys know what's coming if you're a fan of the channel. And there's a little teaser for you. Well, here it is, guys. A Texas woman demanded to buy a child from a mother at a Walmart for 500 large, police say. 
So this child must have been really pretty and white. Let's see. Any more information on this story? Rebecca was charged with uh, 49. Hmm. Yeah, there's too much information here. Tucker Carlson bemoans the fact that he's no longer attracted to the sexy m M&M cartoons. I heard of that. Mexico's little-known attempt to save feud from the Nazis. A dead man popped up under two other men in an attempt to collect his benefit payments at the post office. Due to shortage, Nashville Guardsmen are now substitute teachers. I always thought about that. Substitute teachers, are they, are they really real teachers? Or are they just like... They have some sort of... Are they like interns or... Weber Grills apologizes for ill-timed meatloaf recipe email. <coughs> oh, the actual singer meatloaf. Barbecued meatloaf. I mean, like they barbecued his corpse. Oh my god, that's kind of funny, but terrible. I'll do anything for barbecue, but I won't do that. Man carrying his own arm down Main Street, saved by a crew of arborists. Burger lover busted after police chase. Burger Planet, what are you up to, buddy? It's a black man. Louisiana motorist who led a late night police on the left feet pursuit before surrendering told cops he did not initially stop his vehicle because he wanted to eat his burger. Mmm, burger. So we have the black Burger Planet there, everybody. McDonald's potato imports disruption spurs French fries war in Japan. To say there's a shortage of French fries, but. I've been I've been able to get French fries. I haven't had a problem as of yet. So I read this story last week. Chinese couple trapped for a month on a second date. Dude, they got engaged, so it worked out. So if you want to get engaged, you got to stay locked with somebody. That is what marriage is, isn't it? Being locked up together. Main man carrying old severed art. Okay, let's read that. Holy shit! Man accidentally stabbed his grandma sixty times. Because she nagged him. Accidentally, guys. I didn't explain those other 58 times. Do an extra one. A South Korea man. And it says, uh, the killing to be accidental. Wow, South Korea is a great place if you want to murder uh, people. Stranded dog saved by drowning after rescuers attached a sausage to a drone. That's perfect. They love little sausages. Someone says, let the green Eminem be the nasty little slut. Ooh. Karen flashes ID at a black man on TikTok who ate gummy worms before paying for them. Yeah, I don't like people that do that, by the way. I don't care what race you are. I don't like the people that are so hungry. They have to open up the shit and they have to... You're going to pay for it. It's like, why don't you just wait? As Jim Florence would say, oh, you're that hungry. Robot vacuum cleaner escapes from Cambridge Travel Lodge. Woman stops for selfie while standing on her sinking car. That does sound like a viral thing to do. Here it is. This is in uh, some cold. This is in Canada. So hey, props for her for doing that. Anyway, you can go viral. This show would never go viral. Spilling potatoes freeze the Minnesota highway after truck crash. Why are men drinking breast milk? Because it's the closest they can get the titties, you idiot. Uh, retired state St. Island ferry boat bought by Colin Jost and Pete Davidson. They must just be banging all the tail on that boat. Kardashians and, and whatnot. Men are creating AI girlfriends and then verbally abusing them. Well, yeah, you gotta call her a bitch. You still gotta keep her in line. Legislator dies using medical suicide law he helped pass. Mother arrested for faking son with autism's death, leaving him in a motel room. Oh my god. Uh, I read that already. Woman refuses to mask on flight to London, so the pilot took her back to Florida. And the teacher got in trouble, I saw on Fox News, for taping a mask to a student. Well, listen, you gotta do what you gotta do. Rules are rules. Please seek man who stole the $8,000 Les Paul by stuffing it into a, his pants. 
Drunk priest mistakenly slaughters human instead of goat. Well, thank God he didn't fuck it, thinking it was a kid. Oh! Okay. Manhunt on the way for Ben Stiller after shooting death of Dwayne Johnson. What is this? Is this real? Or is this one of those stupid, like... Police are looking for Benjamin Stiller. So, that's not the real Ben Stiller. And Dwayne Johnson is not The Rock. So, that's why it's a weird story. New Mexico asked Guard to sub for sick teachers. I mean, Chromacon. There's a shortage of everything out there, except for cock. That would never go away. That's your mother. Te Ohio man steals cars with passengers asleep in the back. Passenger, Texas. Police updates during that. That's Grand Theft Auto shit. Remember Grand Theft Auto? You would steal a car and someone's doing it. That's just fun. Fun game. Pornhub elusive coder broke a decade long heat of science after his 16 million mansion burned to the ground. Missouri Highway Patrol mistakenly sends Batman themed alert. It says, IRS will soon require selfies for online access. Ooh, can I be in the nude? Man reports he was robbed of prescription medicine. Officers found his meth instead. Well, I'd explain this meth here. Well, that has nothing to do with my... my. Uh, I will definitely eat sushi again. California woman hospitals have eaten 32 rolls at a buffet. They say it's all you can eat, but is it really? No, it's not. Bane Tree missing cat found after owner heats meow on pet's phone. Man sets himself on fire after a matchmaking emergency refuses to arrange a marriage for him. Florida woman busted for a 3 a.m. glitter attack. Maybe this was a live streamer. She looks fucking nuts. Two Florida women are facing burglary. 3 a.m. attack on a male victim. You two cunts, I would've fucked you both up with my mace, motherfucker. Trump super fans dream of a run again. It's gonna happen. Trump 2024! Right. Auto shop owner suit after dumping 500 pounds. Okay, I think I read that last week. So, folks, that's it. Thank you for listening to this from the bottom of my rotten fat heart. I'll see you folks on the next one. You just listened to, and we're out of here. Go fuck yourself, cubby.